You too. Man, am I going through all that shit? What's good? It's your boy. B, you already know, aka the Panther Litecoin in the building. And I just wanted to make a quick video, real quick, to answer one of the most asked questions that I get asked being in the cryptocurrency world. What coins should I invest in? What tokens, what currency, whatever you want to call it. That is the most number one question I get asked, I have to say. Uh, since being in the cryptocurrency world. So I'm not going to hit you with the generic message or comment that everybody gives you when they ask, uh, when people ask this question, I'm going to give it to you raw. So one of the main things people, including myself, will tell you is to do your own research. But sometimes I feel as though people um, don't fully understand that. So what I'm gonna what I'm gonna drop to you right now. First of all, let's get in, let's get into it real quick. Market cap 292 billion. Bitcoin dominance a whopping 48 percent. We're at almost 50 percent in Bitcoin dominance. Y'all better get you some Bitcoin. Anyway, back to it. You see this right here, people. See that number? 1,706 different cryptocurrencies right now. So. That don't mean all them cryptocurrencies is going to last, bro. So right now, what's today's date? Uh, let me see. <clears throat> we got July 30th. Let me, let me throw my... Hold up, man. Let me throw, throw my homie Jay-Z, uh, Drizzy on real quick, man. Hold on. Hold up. All right. Drizzy. You already know. It's my boy right here. So anyway, let me drop this sign to y'all real quick. So... July 30th, 2018. Let's go back. And I like to give y'all facts. Let's, wait, wait, I'm sorry. Let's take a look at the top five coins, right? We can do top five coins right now on July 30th, 2018. Let's go to the historical snapshots. We're going to take it 2015. Where we at? Let's do July 26th. 2015. Top five: Bitcoin, Ripple, Litecoin, Dash, Dogecoin. Dash, Dogecoin, and I don't even know what the hell this me Seed coin is. It's not even in probably the top 20 right now. I don't even know what the hell that me Seed coin is. But shit, what's that? Three years ago, Litecoin was only four dollars fifty-six cents. Bitcoin four years ago, $288.77. That's some facts for your ass. Now let's take it back. <clears throat> Three years later, Bitcoin, $8,174.36. Uh, Litecoin, seventh spot. Who cares? We all about that adoption, baby. $82.45. So if you look at the percentage gained with Bitcoin and Litecoin in general, that's some gains for your ass for in three years. So when people are, when people say, you know, crypto is dying, crypto is doing this, crypto is not an asset, um, I, I laugh. I laugh. And I just gave you guys some facts. Three years, facts. You know what I'm saying? So going back to what I'm saying, so we look at that top five, right? You don't see no differences besides Bitcoin, XRP, and I forget the other one that was in there. I know Dogecoin. Let's look up Dogecoin. Dash is at 14. Dogecoin, I don't know, 35. All right. Facts, right? So keep in mind that all these cryptocurrencies that's in this market nowadays, you got a 1,200, 200, uh, excuse me, 12,246 markets. This shit is rapidly increasing, man. I'm just going to kick these facts to y'all. Listen, when you're picking your coin, yes, you want to do your own research. When you're investing, when you're putting your unfortunate government money where that's accepted everywhere into something that, you know, you want to invest in, don't just, that's like throwing your money in the trash if you don't know what you're investing in. You feel what I'm saying? That's like literally taking a match, right? That's like taking a dollar bill lighting the match to it and is watching it burn or, or lighting the lighting the blaze to it and watching it burn you're throwing away your money when you don't research so that's why people tell you to do your research but i'm going to, i'm gonna i'm gonna kick this jewel to you real quick 
look into currencies that have real world use cases. The reason why Bitcoin and Litecoin are amongst uh, one of the most talked about coins, you know, Bitcoin is Bitcoin, but Litecoin, um, you know, the reason why that's one of the most talked about coins is because, you know, it's a payment coin, Bitcoin payment coin. You can make purchases with Bitcoin. You understand what I'm saying? That's a real world use case, especially when we're trying to, you know, adopt digital currencies in general. Now, number one, that's why people say do your own research. Number two, get involved with a cryptocurrency community. I think the best way, you know what I mean, to get involved with some people is on Twitter. You know, follow some people, see who's active, see the content they're talking about, you know what I mean? And, and that's how you get involved. You know what I'm saying? That's that's part of the, the, your research process. You feel what I'm saying? It's all a part of you seeking out information. You feel me? So, get involved with a community. Number three, after you get involved with that community, you start to learn, you start to learn different tokens people are into. Not every token is going to be, or currency, coin, whatever you want to call it, is going to be a winner. And this is where your due diligence comes into place. You get what I'm saying? I'm just dropping these jewels to y'all, man, because people are so naive when they come to spending their money. And, oh, you know what? Rule number one. Take that, take that get rich quick scheme out your mindset, man. Stop trying to make that quick buck. I know I dropped some jewels, you know, real quick three years ago. Bitcoin was $288 or whatever. You feel what I'm saying? I know that. But I just wanted to show y'all some facts or whatever. That's kind of to help the, um, you know, remove the FUD. You know, it's fear, uncertainty, doubt. That's, you know, it's going to be a lot of that in the news. It's a lot of that in the news. You get what I'm saying? So I just wanted to let y'all know that focus on, you know what I'm saying, your knowledge. Focus on, do your due diligence. Plain and simple. You feel me? Look for coins that have real world use cases right now. You know, the biggest thing right now, you know, we, we adoption. You want to hear adoption a lot, especially when it comes to like Litecoin. You know what I mean? Bitcoin, more so probably Litecoin. Um, and, well, more so Litecoin and Bitcoin because you know, I mean, you know, crypto enthusiasts like myself are trying to pave the way for this new day and age, this new technology, or whatever. You get what I'm saying? For people, you know, this we can pick up our phones right now. And, and I can use my Apple Pay to go on Wawa, uh, Wawa, go to, you know, Starbucks, Walmart. You know, there's a couple other places you can just pick up your phone and just scan your phone or whatever. You get what I'm saying? And, and you know, that's, you know, to a, a digital card or whatever that's linked to your bank account. And that's how you pay. You feel what I'm saying? So, you know, I just wanted to put that, you know, put that out there real quick. You know what I'm saying? Just, um, another thing. Along with the research, man, along with the research, don't quickly skim through, you know what I mean, the, the coins project. You know what I'm saying? Pay attention to the team. Pay attention to the people behind that project. Pay attention to the roadmaps. You get what I'm saying? A lot of coins have what they call white papers where it gives you, um, you know what I mean, the, the, the people that's a part of that team, the people who's working behind the scenes to try to make this, this project better. You know what I'm saying? They're giving you, you know, they're showing you a workflow. They're showing you, you know what I'm saying, a roadmap, what's going ahead. You know what I'm saying? Some may be quarterly, some may be in six months, some may be a year. Who knows? You know what I mean? Take your time. Look at those, whatever. Take one coin. I'm going to say take one coin a week and just work on studying that. You feel what I'm saying? That's the thing. That's what you got to do, man, before you be so quick to throw your money in there. You feel me? Now, Bitcoin, Bitcoin is, is, the, is the, the papa. You get what I'm saying? The, the big daddy. Big Bitcoin is the reason for all the existence of all these other little coins. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? You hear Drizzy. But I'm just keeping it real. You feel me? So, like I said, I just wanted to drop this video real quick just to answer that question. If you got any questions, you can feel free to hit me up on Twitter. Leave me a message or a comment down below. And y'all know I'm going to get back to y'all. But just real quick, just want to give y'all a quick update. A um, couple things. Shout out to my man Charlie, LTC gang. You already know. Uh, pretty much, it was reported the other day, or maybe even yesterday. Litecoin creators helping ACC build a secure blockchain phone. I think it's what Exodus. Exodus will support multiple cryptocurrencies out of the box. Um, its upcoming blockchain power uh, power phone has everything to please the regular cryptocurrency enthusiasts. Uh, Charlie made a tweet 
Actually, what was this? I think it was yesterday. Where the date is? Date, date, date. Whatever. He made a tweet about this or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So I'm kind of very excited to see how this phone is going to look. Apparently, it's going to be Exodus. So it's going to be fully supported with the uh, fully support Litecoin and Lightning Network. Um, and is Litecoin native. You know, he said he'll be an advisor and he sees he's having a secure crypto phone that makes Litecoin Network simple. It's needed for mass adoption. It's a it's a couple other phones out there. Um, I can't think of the names right now, but it's a you know couple of the phones that are being created. You know, what I mean, it's gonna you know be like a wallet, like a cryptocurrency wallet, like a loaf wallet or like an Abra wallet. You understand what I'm saying? So that's gonna be created as well. So yo man, big things man, big things. So shout out to my man Charlie Lee. Shout out to HTC. Way to get on board with that cryptocurrency. You already know. And comment made apparently. We've moved on to Bitcoin. This is reportedly from your favorite socialite, Kim Kardashian. She also received one Bitcoin from Matthew Rozak, whatever the hell you pronounce his name or whatever. And it's pretty much the article just goes through, you know, um, you know, Matthew, you know, having a discussion with her. Matthew is pretty much some, some kind of poker player. What is that? Uh, funds came courtesy of Matthew Rozak, the investor, entrepreneur, and educator who was also a guest at the if only Texas Hold'em Poker Tournament in Inglewood. So there you go. That's his, that's his description or whatever. He gave her a physical light. I mean, excuse me, physical Bitcoin. Um, of course, we all know Bitcoin is digital, but she got her first Bitcoin. Um, and she tweeted it on, on Instagram. Apparently, we move on. We moved on to Bitcoin, and we'll see how how far this goes. She's major in a, the social media world. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people that's major like Kim Kardashian, they have a lot of influence on people. And honestly, this is just a positive look for cryptocurrency in general. So, dropping them jewels on y'all, man. I'm about to hop on this Twitter. I got to check some of my messages. I got the 15. I just literally jumped off of Twitter. So, I got to check some of that. I'm going to, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to holler at my peoples, see what's good. And then we're just going to take it from there, man. Y'all have a good one. I'm going to see y'all later. Peace.